I'm Matt Bichard here in New York City for REIT Week 2019, NARIT's Investor Forum. Joining me today is Chris Benjamin, the President and CEO with Alexander and Baldwin. Chris, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. What are the biggest benefits that you've seen since Alexander and Baldwin shifted its portfolio concentration strictly to Hawaii? Well, there have been a lot of them. Um, let me boil it down to probably two biggest ones are our ability to invest more strategically in assets that we can really create value from, and then our ability to manage those assets. So on the first one, the investment um, approach that we're taking is far more strategic than it was when we were investing on the mainland. We were generally seeking yield, seeking security. In Hawaii, we're looking for strong assets that we believe we can add value to. And because we know the market, We've been in the market for 150 years, uh, about half that time as an active real estate developer and uh, owner. Uh, we really understand the local sub-markets, the industry trends, and we can make much smarter investments in Hawaii, which is a market that we know well, as compared to the mainland, where we really didn't know the markets as well. Uh, and then on the management side, now that we have our entire portfolio back in Hawaii, uh, we've got scale to bring all of our management in-house, our property management, asset management, our leasing, uh, it's all in-house now. And that allows us to manage it as a portfolio, as, a as opposed to just a collection of individual assets that are farmed out to third-party brokers and property managers. So through those two things, we've found that we've been able to both create value through the buy and then create value through the management of the asset. Now, Alexander and Baldwin's operating profit and cash NOI were both up in the first quarter of 2019 compared to the same time period in 2018. What's been the biggest factor fueling that growth? You know, it's hard to say what the biggest factor is, but you're right. We've had tremendous uh, performance. The first quarter we were up, our same store NOI was up 7.7%. Now, that's not a run rate that we expect to continue for the year, but we, we have projected that we expect 3 to 4% same store NOI growth, which is really good especially in the retail um, segment that we're in. I think it's primarily due to the fact that we have been repositioning some of these assets that we bought. Let me give you one quick example. Uh, we, had a, we have an asset called Pearl Highland Center, and we made about $6 million of investments there, $3 million into an upgrade of a theater, $3 million into the upgrade of a food court that we have. And then that drove some retenanting. We brought in, brought in Ulta. We're about to see the first uh, guitar center in Hawaii open. And we will soon be at 100% occupancy in that center. So that is, has been a big boost to our same store NOI and our, our NOI overall. So we're seeing the benefits of what I described in response to your first question, which is the more strategic investment and then the more strategic management of the assets. It's really paying off. And finally, Alexander and Baldwin is a founding member of the East Maui Watershed, Watershed Partnership, now, which is Hawaii's first public-private sector partnership to preserve the state's watersheds. Why is your mission to improve Hawaii's community such a vital one to the company? Well, it's an interesting question because that particular example really doesn't relate directly to our commercial real estate business. That relates more to our historic agricultural business, but it's very indicative of the long-term commitment we've made to Hawaii and the long-term involvement we've had in the market. Um, so that, in, that uh, partnership goes back decades, and we've got so many organizations in Hawaii that we've been supporting for decades. Just last Friday night, I was at a, uh, an event where we were recognized for 30 years of continuous uh, support of a local nonprofit, and there are dozens of those like that. And our tagline, our slogan is Partners for Hawaii. We think that that commitment to the local community, the local charities, really pays off both in our understanding of the market and in the market's understanding of us. Let me give you one last quick example. We bought the Manoa Marketplace uh, ground lease a few years ago, and then we eventually were able to buy the improvements at that center. The local owner of that asset, and it had been in the, the family for generations, uh, chose to sell to A and B because they felt ownership and, and stewardship of that asset and they knew that we would feel the same, that we would take it on. And so that local commitment and the things we do in the local community really do translate into both opportunities and ultimately you know, profits for the company because it allows us to, to operate better, more effectively in the local community. Great. Chris, thank you so much for joining Thank us. you for having me. For more information on REIT Week 2019, be sure to visit NAREIT's website, REIT.com.